Welcome to Thanks to Sank TV, brought to you courtesy of First Ave Entertainment. I am your host, Fee. And today, it gives me great pleasure to speak to the Mambo King himself, Tito Puentes Jr., as well as Melina. <laughs> Listen, I can't wait to sit and chop it up with them to find out what they have in store for us as far as music, business. Listen, they are hot. And it's pun intended. Listen, be here right here at Sanctuary Sing TV in just a minute. We'll be right back. If you want more information about us, log on to www.sanctuarystanktv.com. I have to give a special shout out to the Haitian American Chamber of Commerce, as well as Blaze Law Firm for sponsoring this show. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Thanks You Sing TV. I am your host, B. Listen, we're here with Fam, Tito Puente Jr., and Melina. Yes. <laughs> What's going on? Man, we're so happy to be here. And I just can't wait to just get the into the whole holiday spirit. Like, uh, well, we're in like, We're in the middle like, of it. But I feel like you're always in a holiday spirit. Yeah. Like the energy you yeah. bring. Like it's never a dull moment. Am I right? Can we're we always that? on. He's Listen. more on than I am. But right. yes, he's always on. We're all... Really excited to be here. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Thank yes. you again for joining us again for a mm -hmm. second time around. Yeah. King of Mambo. Ooh, that's Big a title. Shoes, right? Yeah, you got me. Oh, mm -hmm. man, you're crowning me the king. Uh, my <laughs> father, of course, was the king of Latin music. Yes. Um, I don't know if I would say more of the prince. I'll put in that. <laughs> that mark. Yeah, that's a really big shoes to fill. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Oh, yeah. I, would, I, I love, I mean, in the time that we're living in right now, you have to acknowledge people and their accomplishments and what they stand on now. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes we do that when the person transitions. So yes, I'm gonna give yeah. you your crown. Thank you. Thank you, kindly. Thank you, thank you, kindly. Thank and, you kindly. and the energy that you bring, I'm gonna stand on the energy because what I like about music is the bond that it creates in different cultures, right? In different, I don't care what socioeconomic status you are, the energy that comes behind music is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And what I love is that it's always positive. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. ever have anything that you sing about? As no, I think my father, mm -hmm. uh, throughout his entire career, always brought people together. Mm -hmm. He was an ambassador mm -hmm. of Latin music and brought people to dance floors yes. and to enjoy music and, and what, it, what it represents, Afro-Cuban music. And uh, most of the time when we're performing live, it's always up-tempo. We don't sing any ballads or anything mm -hmm. like that. Um, so we talk about gozando, party, uh, mm -hmm. people enjoying themselves, you know, throughout the Latin music world. And that, it's really the rhythm yes. that, that, that I bring to the table. When we Latin perform the music, music, that rhythm, that conga, that bongo, that timbal, is what makes people really want to come to the concerts and, and enjoy themselves. And also Melina. Hi. Mm -hmm. hey. She brings the sexiness gotta, to it all. You got to bring the sexy, <laughs> sultry side of it, yeah. right? It's a we cool try. balance. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, I'm, I'm super excited uh, to be always performing with my brother, Tito Puente Jr. And for me, it's a true honor and happiness every time he says, hey, you want to come do this? Of course, I'm always there. So I'm grateful. It's almost been six years already. Six plus, wow. I think. Yeah. Yes, wow. six, six years of performing year. together all over You're the world. Anywhere. No, no I think I'm here to stay, I yeah. think. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they love to see her on stage. When I come out first and I always feature her mm -hmm. when, uh, mm -hmm. when we perform. But it's a great to be partners with you all around the world. And we bring that mm -hmm. music of Celia Cruz, Tito Puente, ah. the Afro-Cuban sound to, to all mm -hmm. four corners of the planet. And we've been doing that for a long yes. time. That rich yeah. Afro Afro Cuban. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, you can't get enough of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um I, I mentioned I mentioned really quickly how I, like how I love like I saw a picture of your dad with Afro. Uh -huh. and I was like, yeah, yes. yeah. Wait a minute. How did yeah. how did that happen? Like I was like be awake. Yeah. No, no, that was real. That, right? that is real. That is real. <laughs> my father, uh, my well, God bless her, uh, her soul. Her name was Ercilia Ortiz Puente. That was my grandmother, mm -hmm. and she was Afro Latina, born in uh, Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. in San Germán, Puerto Rico, and uh, she was a dark-skinned lady, and uh, that's where my father got that mix of 
uh, Puerto Rican uh, black descendant. Mm -hmm. um, that's why he had the kinky hair. Mm -hmm. But really, the, the, the truth of the matter is that Tito Puente was born in Harlem, New York. Listen. So <laughs> Spanish Harlem was only two blocks from black Harlem. Mm -hmm. So Puente was really born and raised in that whole area of New York where music at that time in the 1930s and 40s was all about the Cotton Club and nice. Duke Ellington, mm -hmm. Cal Basie, Ella Fitzgerald, Ooh. all the kings and the titans of the music of that era. Mm -hmm. Big band swing. Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, Dizzy Gillespie and my father's very much influenced by black jazz artists at that time yes. and that's you hear it in his music you can you so, definitely hear it so totally. yeah not only do you have the look but he also had the sound this too this net percussion mm -hmm. section I'm like yeah. mm -hmm. how do you how do you not get up and, mm -hmm. and dance <laughs> How yeah. do you not? And I, oh gosh. Tito I Puente. Go it's so colorful. Tito Puente yes. was probably one of the first Latin band leaders in the 1930s and 40s at that time to perform at the Apollo Theater, the world famous Apollo That's Theater. Me. So yeah, That's and me. they have his portrait there. So you see a lot of incredible black artists on the walls of the Apollo and Tito Puente stands right there with them. And that's big yeah. because you know, oftentimes when you come to the Apollo, if mm -hmm. you're not one of us, yeah. they give you yeah. a hard time. No, we, we honorary. <laughs> Listen, oh, they we honorary. Right? Oh my God, boom. Oh, yeah. even, before you even start. That's not cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the fact you. that he's able to even be on the wall, yes. that in itself speaks volumes. Yeah, yeah. Six yeah. Same Family, yeah. we'll be right back in just a few. Welcome back to Saints to Saints TV. I am here with Tito Puentes Jr. Mm -hmm. as well as Melina. Mm -hmm. Listen, <laughs> I know that, listen, food is something that everyone knows that I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. So on top of food, you guys have the audacity <laughs> yeah, to right. come up with a sauce to enhance the flavors. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Bring them out, bring them out. I had to, I had to do something <laughs> clever. So I got to thank my wife, Rosalie, for the, for the idea that during the lockdown that we were in for about two, three years there, uh, people were doing two things. They were listening to music and we were eating a lot That's of food. Yes. So she came up with a very clever idea. She said, salsa to put out for your listening pleasure and then salsa that you could actually put on your food. Yes. So this is Tito Puente Jr. salsa. Yeah. This is the sweet taste of tamarind fruit. I have uh, four different flavors. These are all natural, vegan friendly, non-GMO. These are great on anything, man. You name it, tacos, burgers, chicken, pork, steak, uh, jerk chicken. You They're can hook awesome. it up with everything. This is Mambo Diablo. This has maple syrup and mango in it. Mambo Diablo. These are the all devil. hot sauces, by the way. So this is your picantes. So uh, definitely have a glass of milk right there. Next the guava is the hottest one. This one, one, the guava really? one. This has Carolina Reaper. This has the sweet taste of guava in it. Uh, salt, onion, vinegar. And they're all natural flavors. Again, shake them up real good. You can throw them on all your holiday meals, pateles, arroco a bichuela, <laughs> uh, any Spanish food, any Jamaican food, any Haitian food. Yes. You guys are going to love them. Nice. It's really, really spicy mm. stuff. And uh, why not? And then you play the album and play the music of Tito Puente. What a better way to have a party. Puentify. 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 I like that. I like that. Point that. Yeah. So, so oh, you can get them online mm -hmm. at Tito Puente Jr. MyShopify.com. You can order it with the album and along with the four hot sauces. We got some new ones coming in 2023. So uh, you can go right there. It's a great gift you? idea, too. I mean, but what? Ugh. Yeah, I'll Your tell wife. you. Yeah, that's right. My wife. wife. I got to give my credit. wife credit. Your wife. <laughs> she came up with it. She said, man, you know, people like to listen to music and, of course, put something on their meal while yes. they're listening to music. Mm -hmm. And what a great way. You can put it on salads, beef, pork, steak, like yeah. I said. Any meal, it does great with it. Football salad. season's here. Throw it on wings. You know, yeah. you know really, what I really do? I put on, uh, on those thornies, plantains, oh. plantains with yeah. avocado, uh, avocado yeah. aguacate, and a little That's bit of right. black. Yeah. I throw it in my kids' cereal sometimes. They get oh, mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hook them up in the morning. But you yeah. know what? We could put this in our list, seasoning, because we have something yes. on a piece yes. that we put in our seasoning. Oh, great, wait, great. Wait, wait, I think sofrito, is that sofrito? what Sofrito, yeah, yeah. Wow, look yeah. at you. Yeah. <laughs> so enjoy them. Get them at Tito Puente Jr. on myshopify.com or follow me on my social media pages, and you guys can get your own Tito it's Puente Jr. hot sauce. It's the name for me, Diablo. Mambo Diablo, Mambo Tito Tamarillo Puente Caliente, and Ran Can Can mm -hmm. Guava Sauce. Wait, hold on, say it again. Gran Can Can Maguaza. Those are Gran actually titles of, Gran Can Can. titles of Tito Puente famous songs. Nice. So yeah, yes. you make clever okay. idea. Again, the wife. Love it. Again, <laughs> the wife. Love it, love it. Yeah. So 
enough about food. We transition into music. Sure. So you have a special event coming soon. Yes. Oh yeah, I'm excited about it. What are we doing on New Year's? Well, we have this Ooh. amazing gala, black and white, okay. mm -hmm. very fancy gala, nice. a masquerade ball that we're going to be doing down wow. in the Renaissance Ballroom in Calle Ocho on 8th Street, 59th and 8th Street. Miami. And Tito's going to be performing mm -hmm. with myself and my band. Mm -hmm. We have DJ Rivera. We have uh, a huge dance floor for everybody to come out and dance. And it's only for 150 $50 open bar, four course meal. Free meal. Wow. It's going to be Free amazing. Meal. The <laughs> best wow. price in Miami. Game. That is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Four courses? Four courses. Four wow. course meal. Appetizer, okay. salad, to a uh, Mm -hmm. A steak or chicken, mm -hmm. a dessert, and the champagne toast. And some hot sauce, and Tito Puente Jr. hot yes. sauce, too. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll Year's. have the hot sauce there, too. Yeah. But it's going to be amazing. We're going to have a great mm -hmm. time. We have the champagne toast, the grapes, everything, your little hats, everything is all included. That's included as well? Included. Yes, ma'am. Wow. We we'll invite everybody to come out. It's going to be an amazing, amazing time. What's the so info? Tell them the info. Head, hit us up on Facebook, mm -hmm. Melina Salsa, mm -hmm. and also on Instagram, Melina Salsa Music. You also can hit up. Mr. Tito Puente yes. Jr. Heels, let me know. We'll, He'll have, let all us the, know. we'll have all the links. Are you going to Tikari, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Tikari.com. Tikari. Right. And this search Melina. Right. Yes. Or Tito, because it's also Tito, Meli, Tito and Melina. Or Can't Tito. Go wrong, man. Want yes. to some mambo, eat some mambo, salsa, everything. You're going to be eating salsa, <laughs> doing the mambo, yeah. and partying all night long with I us. I love it. Yes. <laughs> what what a new year. Bring your new year. That's Saturday, yeah. December yeah. 31st, at the Renaissance Ballroom in Miami, ladies yes. and gentlemen. We have parking, too, so you don't have to yes, park. Yes, free Wait, parking. Parking yeah. is included. With yes, the ma'am, everything, <laughs> everything is That's included. Right. We wanted to make it so that everybody could go and yeah. have a great time with us. Tell them about the kids, too. Yeah, kids are Bring also welcome. So if kids okay. from mm -hmm. under under 12 mm -hmm. are only $50. Yes. Nice. So if you want to bring so your children. Family friendly. Friendly. Yes, it's very family friendly. Yeah. We wanted everybody to be together and have a great time after all we've been through. Yeah. Uh, you know, we and we also wanted to do something that was very, uh, you know, that was accessible mm -hmm. to, for people to come. Correct. So that, you know, we, we know everything is very expensive nowadays. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to do something that included everything for everybody and mm -hmm. that you wouldn't break the bank, you know? Yeah. You go to yeah, South Beach, you're paying $15 for a drink. 15, come over $20. here, 150 bucks, and you, you got all and that drink. And it's a premium bar. Premium. And, you, and you hear the New York in them, too. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah. I, the yeah. ice yeah. is premium. Yeah. The ice is premium. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're putting Fiji water and freezing it, and it's premium. Thanks for staying family. We'll be right back. <laughs> Family, we are back. I'm your host, B. We have Tito Puente. Yeah. Hey, do you like when people say Tito Puente Jr.? Uh, the full name? Yes. Yeah. I don't yeah. Like, it's funny when my kids say it. <laughs> they say it? Yeah. They say it? I yeah, because I say it so much. I speak in third grade. Hey, Tito Puente Jr. <laughs> and they hear it so much on the radio and on television that they, hey, Tito Puente Jr., make me some breakfast. Oh. <laughs> Tito Puente Jr. Yeah. and Melina. Yes. We also call him TPJ. TPJ. TPJ yeah. is a big one. Like Tito Puente Jr. Yeah. TPJ. Yeah, I like, I like the whole thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I try to get my kids to say like Mr. Your dad is so try to say much. Mr. Puente or something. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. TCB, you know, taking care of business. Taking, taking care, care of business. Of business. Yeah. Right. Every day. I don't day. know how to sing. Know how to sing. <laughs> All right. So, so let's talk about the culture. So I wanted to talk about the culture a little bit, only because I know that a lot of in a lot of areas, especially Caribbean areas, we have this, and I kind of briefly mentioned it, um, colorism. This whole colorism thing. But for some reason, I think that, well, it's just, could be just me, but I'm like, no, nah, Puerto Rico doesn't have it as much because maybe because it's the U.S. territory, could I be wrong? Is that the reason why? Because I don't think, I don't know, in other countries, I see it a lot and I'm like, whoa, this is bad. But in Puerto Rico, I mean, maybe because I was in the tourist areas, but it was like, even eat those, wow, mm -hmm. yeah. like, oh, you want some bongo? Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, this is different. Yeah. No. I don't know. Puerto Rico is very, Puerto Rico different. Is very different, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to that. But me being born and raised in New York, I'm a New York born Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, uh, New York is such a diverse city. Yes. And my father being born, raised in New York city as well. Mm -hmm. Um, he brought in all types of creeds, colors and races into his music. He was an ambassador of Latin music. Yeah. So when we travel around the world, we always try to bring in 
all cultures. So that's what we do. We mm. culture people into learning about Afro-Cuban music, the Puerto Rican uh, sounds of bomba en plena, the Afro-Cuban rhythms of guan guan col, rumba, cha cha cha. Mm -hmm. You guys today call it salsa, mm -hmm. salsa tomate goya. Um, <laughs> but salsa is what, what what people dance to nowadays, and that's the genre of music. But when I when I find the cross cultures coming together, I love it when my father plays with hip hop groups, yeah. and he work with dance music artists, and he'll work with um, Haitian groups. He'll work with he went to Jakarta one time and worked with a, a drumming company, and uh, just he would just cross paths with yeah. different people. And he did that all the way back in the 1930s too with Dizzy Gillespie, and Count Basie, Crazy. Duke Ellington, all of those. He worked with them, and to integrate jazz and mambo music together. And I don't think music has any color lines. It you know doesn't. I mean? it, it, doesn't. it doesn't have color lines. Mm -hmm. Not with the music that I particularly do. Yeah. And me being, of course, again, from New York, I love hip hop. I love mm -hmm. heavy metal. I love rock. I love mm -hmm. rap. I love all types mm -hmm. of music. Right. Melina can kind of tell you, <laughs> on the island, it's very diverse, but yeah. you see all types Everything. of people yeah. coming yeah. to the concerts. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm mm -hmm. actually from the islands of Puerto Rico, so I, I know a little bit more about that. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, in Puerto Rico, it's open to everybody. Everybody's kind of one over there and they're very welcoming. I don't, I'm glad that you experienced that. Everybody thinks, every, everybody always tells me, oh, you're Puerto Rican, mm -hmm. I had such an amazing time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody was so nice to me. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like I was home. And that's kind of how Puerto Ricans are. Yeah. We're always yeah. like that. The ones from the island, also the ones from New York. Because when, went to, went to, when I went to New York City mm -hmm. with him for the first time, I said to myself, oh my God, these people are gonna kill me. <laughs> because, be rough. I mean, it's gonna be rough because you're there representing one of the icons of New York City, yeah. which is Tito Puente. Mm -hmm. and Tito the Puente Junior, but and I was like shaking. I was like, oh my god! And not only in Yankees, and not only it was in Yankee Stadium. Oh. Yeah. So can't I get was more like, New York than that. Right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, imagine like there was New Yorkers everywhere, Puerto yeah. Ricans, and they loved it. Thank God yeah. I wasn't <laughs> throwing tomatoes or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And they can be brutal. Yes, it they can. Throw and they don't care. <laughs> and they don't care. They will do it. Yeah. And yeah. his mom was there, so for me it was a really great experience. I'm really grateful I love that. that he's always been there for me and supporting me and pushing. Mm -hmm. Me, him and his wife and, and his mom as well. They're and your mom is still here? Yeah, my mom's still with us. She's Whoa. still she's born and raised in New York City too as well from the Bronx. And, How does she feel? Uh, about she is the uh, she is the estate holder mm -hmm. and uh, really runs the whole Pu Puente uh, family, you know, uh, tradition. And she uh, really archived a lot of things from my father, nice. which I love. And we're going to be doing a documentary on all the archival footage that she took mm -hmm. of Tito Puente. I so love how nice. you, you you documented everything. I love how you guys teaching the youngsters. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw one of the storybooks and the readings, and I was like, oh, he was on Sesame Street. I grew up on Sesame Street. Yes. <laughs> and I was mm -hmm. like, okay, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. When we get back, we're going to talk about some of the influences, how you, he he's influenced and continues to influence. You know, not only just the music genre, but other other genres wide worldwide right we'll be right back in just a few six to six family we are back i am your host b if you want more information about the show, please feel free to log on to www.sinkstosinktv.com. We're here at the Haitian American Chamber of Commerce with Tito Puente Jr. I love saying the whole thing, right? <laughs> and Melina. Yeah. Yay. Listen, I gotta say this behind the scenes. I kept messing up Melina's name, y'all. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. No. Now you got it. You now will you never it. forget it. And that's how I remembered it, you guys. <laughs> I started singing, lean on me. <laughs> there, there you go. go. And I'm like, there lean you go. on me. Clever. That's Clever. the first time. Talk about leaning on me. So mm -hmm. as far as your father's work is concerned, I love, like I was saying, I love the way that you guys make sure you keep his memory alive, keep his legacy alive. And the book and the Google Doodle that yeah. you show me, I'm like, this, this is pretty dope. Yeah. Let's talk about how you make sure that you are in the, in, in the room mm -hmm. while making decisions on what goes on, yay or nay, as far as making sure his memory stays alive and accurate. Tito Puente uh, passed away 23 years ago. He was the king of Latin music, and uh, as uh, I've grown into my own career, I'm keeping his music in perpetuity alive with the newer generation. So the kid that's 20 years old today never seen Tito Puente or heard about him. I, I'm the tool or the vehicle to make sure that they know and they, they uh, recognize 
real and recognize where the music does come from. It comes from the music of Herrera, Timbal, Rodriguez, uh, Pacheco, Johnny Pacheco, um, India, Mark Anthony, you know, all the great salseros that of our time. But the lineage of Puente's music has, goes even further back. It goes back to Afro-Cuban music from Arsenio Rodriguez and, and um, Mario Grillo and uh, all those big guys that were very popular with the nightclub of the Palladium in New York in the 1930s and 40s. So I try to teach people the history of it and in doing that, we did a Google Doodle. Mm -hmm. We work with them in celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month and of course, the 22nd anniversary of my father's passing. Uh, so this past October, Google did this fantastic thing where you guys can go on google.com and type in Tito Puente and see a beautiful um, educational and inspiring animated video of my father's history and his lineage of his career. Really, really special, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. So if you haven't seen it, it's meant for everybody to see all ages. The kids can watch it, grandma and grandpa can watch it too, and everybody can understand it. And the and colors. That, the Beautiful. colors are fantastic too. So vibrant. Mm -hmm. I work with the artists hand in hand, and it was so hard for me to keep it from everybody too, because they were like, oh, don't tell nobody that we're gonna do this. And it came out in over 20 million views. Uh, it's still rising even today, people are seeing it. And it's something that, uh, that it's inspiring for the youth and the kids of today. And that's do your, what we do your kids get it? Do your kids, do your kids, do you have it? Do no, I don't have kids. Okay. I'm her kid. That's okay. <laughs> I'm her kid. I'm her kid. Yeah. I take care of him. Yeah. <laughs> <Sometimes>. My children <laughs> uh, kind of get it. I named my son Tito Puente Jr. Jr. How clever is that? <laughs> and my daughter Miranda, they're 14 and 16. Uh, the, then I have some grandkids too, as a matter of fact. And they're kind of understanding because they see me perform my father's music. So they understand the, the, the sounds of Oye Como Va, Ran Can Can, those famous songs that Tito Puente is known for. Um, but they also understand, you know, who he is and what his image is and things of that nature because I have it all over my house. Um, but I think it's, it's really important that the kids remember and they recognize the titans and the icons that created the sound. The music of Celia Cruz, the music of La Lupe, the music of Tito Puente. These are very big, popular and major uh, pinnacles in our culture. Latin Hispanic culture. So we want to make sure that the world knows that and the kids today understand it a lot more. And that's what I've been doing for the past 23 years. And next year, we're celebrating the 100th centennial mm -hmm. birthday of the king of Latin music, Tito Puente. Yes. Big deal. Yeah, big Beautiful. deal, a lot of concerts, Woo, so much happening. And you guys can follow on my social media to see what's happening so, in 2023. So, so because I, I know that you are familiar with a lot of the terms that the youngins are using now, because you said BTS, I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah learning Behind that. the scenes. I thought it was the band. Yeah, well, I am a That's fan how of that. Old I am. <laughs> yes. So, if you could collaborate with one of the stars of today, Ooh, wow, what would you do it? With? There's so many. Okay. Um, you know, I I love working with Melina, mm -hmm. but Thank but uh, uh, she said you better. You know, I <laughs> I love my 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 Latin sisters and brothers that play Latin music and Latin jazz music. Sheila E. I did a, a ah. recent recording with her on my latest CD. But there's so many great artists. I mean, I can go on and on. Just Carlos Santana would be one of the ones ah. that I would want to work with. Molina can probably say uh, Hiberto Santa Rosa, some of those big popular ones from the island. Mm -hmm. They're yeah, incredible. Yeah, we have some amazing uh, yeah. singers and, and songwriters that are doing great things, mm -hmm. um, you know, and we're just grateful to be in some way part of that, you yeah. know, and we, we're keeping Hopefully this they music work alive. With, yes. Hopefully they want to work with us. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. So Thanks for yes. saying family will be right back. Welcome back to Sinks Your Sink TV. We are here with Tito Puentes Jr. as well as Melina. Yay! Mm -hmm. Melina. Now you sing it. Now you sing it. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, she yes. got it. It's near and dear to me now because the struggle was real. <laughs> <laughs> Melina, yeah. I want to know more about you because, you know, there's a force to be reckoned with, right? When you have a woman on that stage mm -hmm. and you're like demanding that presence without demanding the presence mm -hmm. is just, you know, the energy that you bring. Let's talk about it. What even got you into this industry? Well, first of all, I want to say I love music. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world. And um, when I was little, I used to be electric like electric <laughs> dancing, just like Tito. Tito and I are Geminis. We're both Geminis. Yep. His birthday you guys is get along? June 2nd. Mine is That's June right. 3rd. How do you uh -huh. guys even 
Get along. There's four people. We, there's four That's people. His wife, his wife and my husband are like, yeah. this is too much. <laughs> <laughs> there's yeah. four of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you move too fast. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, when I was little, I was always dancing. My mom always had me in jazz class, tap class, singing art, uh, the theater, everything. I was always doing all kinds of stuff because I was, I was a hyperactive mm -hmm. child. So, but I loved singing most uh, as I grew up in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And um, then uh, my mom and I moved to Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee. Wow. So yeah, I have Memphis. a huge um, like uh, influence from, you know, the back, the R&B from back then. Elvis, I, baby. Yeah, Elvis and also the R&B. I used to, my first. You're right. Yeah, mm -hmm. Elvis. <laughs> And BB Kings and all yep. BB King and all everybody. Um, and my first a real gig when I was a teenager with a salsa band was in Beale Street, which was one of the mm -hmm. you know the most famous streets in music in the United States. So then after a while, I decided I wanted to to do salsa for a living. And then I moved to uh, Miami, and I had met Tito actually in Nashville, Tennessee, right. wow. back in 2002, like right after his father passed That's away. That's right. Mm. And um, we, he came in, and 20 he years. Sat, yeah, he 20. sat in with with my band, mm -hmm. uh, and then he left, and I didn't even see him for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, we just kind of shared that night, and he got up on stage and did a solo and everything. Mm -hmm. And then after that, for a while, many, like many I would years. say like 10 years yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. um, then that's when I moved to, to Miami and slowly, you know, I started seeing him performing all over town. And then one day we ended up performing together on the same bill mm -hmm. and that's how we got to know each other. And then yes. slowly, slowly as it kind of went on, mm -hmm. I met his wife at another gig that we had together and mm -hmm. her and I just got along like he's in a pod. She's is. like my bestest friend. Nice. So for me, it's like, they're like my family, my musical family. So I'm just blessed and you know, I'm really excited to, to keep working with Tito and doing as much as we can. Um, we do, I do two festivals here in, in, in Florida, mm -hmm. the Hollywood Salsa Fest, which is a free event for mm -hmm. everybody, more than 10,000 people every April. This coming up uh, 2023, we're gonna honor his father uh, in, in our festival, which is gonna be April 8th, 2023. Nice. Everybody's invited as a free event, family family mm -hmm. event at the Young Circle in Hollywood. Yes. And also, we do another event in Miami Beach in, in October, October 7th. And we will also be honoring his dad so wow. to celebrate the 100 years of his life. Nice. So we're doing all kinds of great stuff, and mm -hmm. I'm just super excited. This is all I've ever wanted to do in my life, would be a salsera. And I never thought in my <laughs> life I would end up working with go. him ever, ever, literally. Wow. So you never know where life is going to take you. So what would you tell someone who is trying to get in the industry and you know, don't really know where to go and don't have, you know, because we, we all have our own separate journey, but what, mm -hmm. if, what would you tell someone who's kind of on the fence? Uh, it's not working out, want to do it, it's my passion, mm -hmm. but the bills, I got bills, yeah. I have responsibilities, like what, what advice would you give that person? Well, it's not easy, first of all. Um, this man right here is the hardest working person I've ever met in my life. Like, uh, you know, he's the son of one of the greatest, but he also works the hardest and is always there doing everything possible to, to get jobs, to, you know, to get move forward, to do other things, to perform in different places. And you know, that's one thing, you just have to take every opportunity that comes yes, along. Correct. And don't get discouraged because, mm -hmm. you know, as you, mm -hmm. move, as you move along, mm -hmm. when I first got here, I worked mm -hmm. um, at Mango's Tropical Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> and I sang, I sang there and I used mm -hmm. to sing five hours straight. And I used to do that for yep. almost four days a week, four or five days a week. It was very difficult. But mm -hmm. how his dad used to say, you have to pay your dues. That's right, <laughs> pay your dues. And now she's yeah. on stages with me around yeah. the world. Yeah, so you have it. to pay yeah. your dues. Yeah. And, and the thing is, it's how you say, it's a journey, it's a journey. Yeah. And as you move and you, if you quit, doing it, mm -hmm. then there's no journey. Right, right. Uh, yep. As uh, you can quit and do something else, uh -oh. but if you, this is what you want to do, you just have to keep on on that journey. Yeah. Be inspired. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 That's it. Yes. Yeah. family. We'll be right back. <laughs>
Oh, thank God we live in South Florida too. We yeah. have yes. dreary weather Woo. and uh, we are here to pick you up. Yep. Yes, you are. And we yes, love we the weather down here for sure. <laughs> before nice. before you give us our your credential handles mm -hmm. and where can we you know find more information about you and your upcoming events, I just want to hit on something really quickly that I feel like. I kind of like glossed over and it's Melina, like mm -hmm. you are in the center of, even though we've, we've gone so far, we've gotten so far as far as women is concerned in the industry, but the fact that you are in this male dominated, you know, industry and you're that lady that's up there representing for us. I know that you have a lot to do with that mm -hmm. as far as your father. Yes. So I want to know, like, how does it feel to be in that space? And what does it feel that you have paved the way for her to be in that space? So two part question. Wow, that's yes. a good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, first of all, uh, for me, it's a uh, honor and a privilege. And I see it as my life's work, really. Um, I don't want to put anybody down, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> but it can be very difficult. Um, and, you know, there's I've had amazing men and ladies that have been very supportive of my career. Uh, Tito being the number one. Um, also, his wife is also mm -hmm. very supportive of, of, of me and my my dream and my talent and everything. But I've also had, you know, a lot of people that have given me a lot of opportunities here and there. Uh, so you just have to, like I said before, you just have to take those opportunities and make the best of each day, each moment, uh, you know, with pride yes. and, and, and elegance, because that's what uh, I want women to see from my side. Uh, I want people to see that you can make it, that you can do it, that you can be, per you can work just as hard as the men, mm -hmm. you know, you can do as well as the men. Um, it is possible, uh, it's difficult, but it's difficult for them as well. Absolutely. It's not hard for, it's not easy for them. So right. you have to think, you know, a lot of people say, oh, but they're men, no. No, mm -hmm. it's hard, it's always hard, yeah. Yeah. you Different know? form of beast. We yeah. work together. Tito Puente kept a tradition of, really utilizing his platform throughout his entire career by giving other people opportunities. Mm -hmm. Whether it becomes the percussion players or the horn players, uh, Patato, Ray Barreto, all these great yeah. musicians that work with Tito Puente, Charlie Palmieri, La India, Mark Anthony, mm -hmm. all these great, great musicians all got that platform and that opportunity to work with my father because he opened the door for them. Mm -hmm. Opened up the door for most Latin musicians that you hear and see today. Nice. That includes all across the board, whether it comes to reggaeton, hip hop, salsa, mambo, anything, Tito Puente is really a pioneer in that. Not only did he do that, did he do that but he also gave the opportunity for women at that time, back in the mm -hmm. 1940s, 50s, and 60s, to front his orchestra. So mm -hmm. I keep with the tradition of my father by putting Melina in front of my orchestra and I make sure that everybody shows her respect <laughs> when she comes up on that stage and you're gonna hear an amazing yeah. voice because I want you to listen to her talent. Yeah, I heard it's the prickly come out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about that. It's about hearing her voice <laughs> and how she can really engage the crowd too. Yes, yes. And that's really the fun part about working with her and traveling around the world. Great stuff. Yeah. Where can we contact you for more information and up and coming events? Ooh, come follow me. Everybody else does. It's <laughs> doing the IRS. Ah, so, <laughs> so come follow me. Uh, you can follow me on all my social media pla platforms at Tito Puente Junior, Facebook, Twitter, uh, mm -hmm. Instagram, and of course TikTok. My kids got me oh, doing the TikTok, TikTok thing. Okay. Um, so yeah, it. follow me there. And you can follow Melina. Please tell them how. Yes, on Instagram, Melina Salsa Music. And on Facebook, Melina Salsa. I'm not on TikTok yet. I'm not a TikToker. I'm going to pull her there. He's trying. He's trying to get me up there. <laughs> yes. So yeah, follow us. And of course, come out on um, December 31st for the great concert yes. that we're having on New Year's Eve at the Renaissance Ballroom. All the information are, all, are, are on our social media platforms. Thank you yes. so much again yeah. for joining us at Sanctuary to Sanct TV. Listen, I had a shout out to Blaze Law Firm as well as the Haitian American Chamber of Commerce. Listen, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. If you want more information about us, please feel free to log on to www.sinkstosinktv.com. I am the Longchamp. I can be located on Instagram at <laughs> the Longchamp. Yeah. And both of our Twitter and Instagram handles are at sinkstosinktv.com. Till next time. Yay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking cross-eyed because I was looking <laughs>